Iwan, ito na naman po tayo. Hindi naman tayo magkapaabot ngayon sa pamorning. <laughs> so, malapit na naman ang lockdown. So, guys, stay safe. Stay in na naman. So, but tonight, tonight is something uh, that I I find, I, I found tonight was a bit, hindi uh, naman underwhelming. It was peaceful for me. And I was reading through the usual thought experiments. Pinaghahandaan ko yung Schrodinger's Kitty. So, while it's still too confusing for me. Kaya, I chose something else. So, it's something about immortality naman. Something that has been eluding us since the dawn of time. But of course, before anything else, I am Coach Juriel or Coach TJ, whichever it is easier to say. I am a certified CACC Professional Life Coach from Life Coach Philippines. I'm a certified martial arts instructor and a marine engineer by profession. I help people navigate through life and love through coaching classes and services that includes responsible online dating. I'm a scholar of Master Coach A for public speaking and this episode is titled The Immortality Pill Forever 25 So, ano ka ba yung premise? This is another thought experiment that it's much easier to digest compared to the others So, the premise So, you're an independent scientist who happens to invent a pill that prevents aging so, if you are younger than 25, when you take the pill, you will turn into your 25-year-old version. If you are older than 25, it will revert you back to when you were 25. If your body does not sustain damage, so, hindi ka nabangga ng sasakyan, hindi ka napugutan, hindi ka na baril. So, if your body is not in any life-threatening or... If you if you haven't sustained life threatening damage your body is still at 25 and you are practically immortal you will not die so convenient diba but there are some questions that i want to ask the viewers okay let's play a little game parang jigsaw lang <laughs> Uh, just kidding. So, the questions. So, what will you do? That's question number one. What will you do with this immortality pill? Question number two. Will you take it? Three. Will you destroy it? Or four. Will you make more? Five. Will you sell it? Or six. If you sell it, to whom will it be available? So, pretty much that's it. Those are it. Yung mga questions na gusto ko lang itanong mula sa inyo. So, uulitin ko ha. You can, you can comment down. Uh, you can comment down below. Gusto, gusto ko lang makita yung mga sagot nyo. So, one, what will you do? Or what do you do? So, will you take it for yourself? Will you destroy it? Will you make more? Will you sell it? Or to whom will it be available? So, pag-isipan nyo. So, that let's clear. Para may context. We can apply, uh, we will apply real world scenarios. Yan. So, may implications kasi yan eh. Each question has an implication. Especially, sa first one, doon pa lang sa pinakauna, you can have your answer ready and it will affect everything. Kasi, if you happen to make that pill, malamang sa malamang, scientist ka, magte-testing ka. So, naturally, no scientist has ever succeeded testing once. And even if it succeeds once, itetest niya ulit yan. <laughs> malamang sa malamang, it will not uh, it will not immediately reach human testing. Malamang sa malamang yan, there are still prior testings. So, such is the world of of science. So, by then, 
if you happen to make that if you happen to make that pill there are already people before you may mga tenest na kayo that have been living their lives longer diba but for the sake but for the sake of discussion sabi natin na kuha mo siya one try nakuha mo kaagad ang tama it reverts so immediately back to 25 so malamang sa malamang binigay mo sa test subject yun <laughs> so the the first test subject is already experiencing or enjoying the benefits of immortality functional immortality di ba kung hindi naman siya magkakasakit di siya masasagasaan na aksidente or hindi siya uh, if if he, his or her body will not sustain life ending damage they will be immortal so malamang sa malamang na do they what do you do so if you see if you see that the effects have already taken place will you take it or will you destroy it will you malamang nakagawa ka nga ng tama eh. you don't only make uh, per batch malamang sa malamang gagawin mo it's per batches diba so definitely you have already made more And what will you do with the rest? Will you sell it? Diba? Or to whom it will be available? The implications there are if you have something that can extend the life of a human being indefinitely at a certain state 25 So what will happen next? Implications if you give it to a lot of people so there are a certain group of people who will remain at 25 So, unnatural na yun. ba? Diba? It may be unnatural. They are not immune to life-threatening damage. So, pagutan sila ng ulo. Deads. <laughs> no, they might still, so if, if they don't meet that kind of event, after 50 years, 25 pa rin na ano nila. Their body is still 25. So, there are also implications. So, if these people are hiding in the shadows, they will be part of the people who, or part of the group who might be pulling the strings behind and if you don't take one malamang sa malamang you will be also manipulated so that they can sustain their youth or their allies and definitely there are people who will be out there if the word goes out they will be also coming after you but that doesn't mean that you are immune to gunfire or fire for that matter diba? So, do you think it would be a peaceful or a chaotic world? Especially when there is a product that can do that. Ano pa ba yung mga implications? So, let's say by some freak chance. By some freak chance na na naitago mo siya. That every every scientific uh, document, all of your experiments have been neatly tucked away in secret. Ikaw lang ang nakakaalam. And if you don't take it, or will you, malamang sa malamang, you will be tempted to take it. Diba? So if you have a family, you might be tempted also to use it on them. Given that you will provide them a choice. Diba? But if you don't take it and leave it there, who's to say that someone else might be able to discover or arrive at the same answer as you did because many have tried and you're the first to succeed who's to say that there's another person who will or who will succeed sa endeavor na yan diba? what if they followed you closely before and they can and they can mimic or they can replicate what you have done so hindi siya natatapos dun Diba? So those are just the few implications. Hindi naman kasi siya ano, hindi siya aggressive regeneration ano eh. Hindi siya aggressive regenerative ability kasi pwede ka pa rin pag pinugutan ka ng ulo, wala na, finish na. If you are subjected into gunfire or fire, you will die. If you can live peacefully on your own without encountering conflict, doon ka lang mabubuhay. Doon lang gagana immortality mo. So that is what this thought experiment is about. And do you do you want to see? Do you want to see your loved ones just 
fall one by one. Diba? Kasi immortal ka ni. Ano na lang din ang, ano, ano rin nasasabihin nila sa inyo if you haven't, if you haven't shared that. Diba? So, those are just the few implications of being functionally immortal. That can also, well, functionally immortal siya, not until you you meet uh, sa, ano, uh, life-ending damage. Ako, personal answer ko dyan, scientist na ako eh, so if I'm going to apply real-world logic, malamang sa malamang, I'll have to destroy all evidences. Kasi hindi ko gagawin yun. If ever I stumbled upon this and there's one and if they can still be eliminated if they can still be eliminated by by sustaining too much damage so it won't be different from another person. In fact, that is one of the implications. If they don't live in seclusion, they will be just any other person who just looks 25 after 10 or 40 years. Diba? It is still possible for them to get killed. So, hindi siya talaga true immortality. To me, my personal answer is that, that this kind of project is not that I would want to do. Kasi it will only sow more chaos than actually help. Diba? You can, you can probably make a medicine that will extend the life of a person, but not indefinitely. Just for just for them to enjoy their natural lifespan, siguro yun makatarungan pa. But if you're going to have an immortality, an immortality pill that is that effective, let's say you gain through immortality, na ba? Makikita mo maguna ang mundo and may experience mo, kasi magkakaroon ka ng aggressive regenerative abilities eh masunog ka, mag siya. Eh, what if, what if you are subjected to, di ba, tumaan ng asteroid, masunog yung immediate vicinity, o while, while you are burning, nagre-regenerate ka. So, how much pain would you be enduring there? And let's say, na, napugutan ka lang ulo, nagre-regenerate ka, would you still be the same person? Will that still contain the same memories? Pero meron tayo dito ng ano, Pero meron tayo ditong isang <laughs> biologist. <laughs> Isa tawas mga consultant ko pagdating dito. Sabi ni Einstein, for a scientist to say na truly working ang experiment, they should be reproducible. So, yes. <laughs> Di ba? If you're going to make a pill that will make people immortal, it won't be done in singles. Di ba? It will be done in batches and there will be countless testing. So, most probably will reach the thousands. People who have been partially immortalized <laughs> and if and if you want to get rid of that you will have to get rid of at least a thousand well not just at well yes at least a thousand people everyone who has come across your work so you just defeated the purpose of extending human life kasi pinaikli mo lang lahat <laughs> but yes but my uh, my personal answer would be if I ever come across this kind of experiment Hindi ako scientist, ah. If I ever given the choice, I will not take it. Uh, humans, uh, a human's life is designed only to live for for its natural lifespan. Sabi natin at this, at this era, it's only mahaba na yung 90 to 100. Diba? Your bodily functions will naturally decay. Magde-deteriorate talaga siya. Ako, masaya na akong nabuhay nabuhay ako at na-enjoy ko yung full extent of human life up until, natin, up until 90 diba? because if you live longer than that you're already occupying too much space paano naman yung mga mabubuhay pa and that's the dilemma also if you have an immortal set of people, let's say you have a country of immortal people, they will only continually consume resources diba? Ito, may magandang feedback si M. Sign. An inventor is morally responsible for his invention. And yes, matatanggap mo ba na your creation will create more chaos? With all other sources are finite, would you create a world of dying people? Tama. My point exactly. Kaya nga si... Yung... 
originator ng Nobel Prize, he invented dynamite. And dynamite has caused a lot of deaths. Hindi niya maatin yun. That's why he poured all his money into putting out awards for the invention or for science. Anything that would forward humanity away from destruction. So, ayan. Ayan yung magiging personal answer ko dun. Na, would I take the pill? No, I would probably destroy it. Basta hindi ako yung membento niyan. Kasi hindi ko kaya yun. <laughs> I will not, in the first place, I will not risk it. If you're going to put it on a scientist, on a scientist point of view it's already ano uh, it's already a natural and it's also something that would create or so more chaos than the peace or the benefit that it would bring so yan i hope that you have learned something that's one meaningful content a day alam ko medyo naging ano tayo ngayon masakit sa ulo <laughs> so i hope that you've learned a little thing about life that life is meant to be limited so that others may also enjoy so that the future generations will be picking up where you left off so that they can also they can also live their life to the fullest and if you have any comments suggestions requests violent reactions or clarifications do let me know para mapaunlakan ko po kayo and if you're having troubles in finding the meaning of your life Kung kailangan nyo lang naman ang kausap, baka lang naman. <laughs> my, my messenger is open and I'd be more than happy to have a conversation with you. And of course, if you're curious about life coaching, you want to experience the magic of life coaching, or you want to be certified as a life coach, do connect with us at Life Coach Philippines at 0917-586-1661. That's 0917-586-1661. So I hope that you're all staying safe, cool, dry, and warm, healthy as always in your own homes. I'll be seeing you again tomorrow. Peace out.